Hi guys, welcome back to Photobike. Today we're going to be checking out three bags from Lower Pro. We've got the ProTac 450, which is the one on my back, and the Flipside 200 and the 400 with us. We're going to see what we can fit inside them, see what their practical use is like. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is the ProTac 450. This really is a bag you can get yourself lost into. Um, it has loads and loads of attachments, loads and loads of accessories with it, so you really can whack on as much as you really can, can think of. For me here, this has pretty much everything I would require for a basic run and gun kind of shoot. The only thing I do lack here is a gimbal, but I could whack this on somewhere instead of having this lighting system that I've brought with me here, which I find is maybe a little bit more important, um, especially for those interview situations, I can set it up on a tripod and I can go. So what do we have here? Quick access to my camera with the top zip. And I've got my camera right, nice and ready. In the top as well, I also have my shotgun mic. So on the front, what have I thrown on the front? It comes with this nice little attachable pouch. They're all Velcro, you can stick them on pretty much anywhere you like. Pull it down. Stick it on there, and in this little pouch, I have myself a handy little first aid kit. And on the side, I've got myself a tripod, nice lightweight Manfrotto, easy and quick to set up. This has the little tripod connector here. Again, you can throw this anywhere. You can throw it on the front, throw it on the back. These clips as well, these detach, and you can pretty much throw these anywhere you like with these little clips here. On the other side, this is can be used for multiple things. There's a nice little pouch that's detachable. I've thrown one of my Yongnuo lights in here and a stand, but this is attachable anywhere. Again, with those clips that you can slap anywhere on the bag. We have another little quick release pocket here. This is for my monitor. On the other side, my headphones, so I can easily monitor my audio. And, Again, loads of extra side pockets, loads of extra attachments here. And here's where I keep one of my ND filters. So this bag is really, really good for just being quick and easy to get hold of everything you like. The one thing I do really love about this bag is it's solid hard top. This bag really is absolutely solid. It looks military grade, it feels military grade, and I feel like my camera is bulletproof in this thing. So for the grand reveal, we have these really nice waist straps, again, with some extra pockets in them, zipped pockets. We have this handy little carry strap here. This can hook nicely over to your suitcase. So pop it over your suitcase handle. Another way to easily use this bag. We have our waterproof cover, quick access, and these really nice padded active zones. So when you are getting all hot and sweaty walking up that mountain, this should help be a little bit more breathable. Um, you can remove these, you can pop these waist straps out, especially if you, so if you're going a bit lighter. So what do I have in here? Pretty much everything I'd really want for a small videography job. A nice relief for me is I can fit all my lenses, I can fit a whole bunch of chargers, a whole bunch of batteries, just a lot of things. So if I am traveling here and there and about, it has a really nice laptop sleeve up in here, but it doesn't fit those big old Windows 15 inch laptops. It does perfectly fit those MacBook ones. So I've got my ND filters in here. Best ND filters in the world, HMYs. What's nice is I can fit a really big full size 100 millimeter lens in there. This is one of the Sam Yang ones. That fits in there nicely. That doesn't fit in a lot of bags very nicely, to be fair. Really nice and wide 14 millimeter Sam Yang. I've got my Tamron. I've got my chargers in there. Battery pouches. So yeah, you kind of get the idea really with this bag. You can fit an immense amount of equipment in there that you really need and a lot of it is really quick access. So if I do want to pop this out as well, get access to change my lenses, or if I'm on the go, really want to pick up, pick up a shot really quickly, I can just grab my monitor out, grab my headphones out, or just grab the camera out. It's all there nice and ready. So this bag is fantastic. It is heavy with all this kit, but with all those supports and traps, it's absolutely fantastic. Right, now let's check out the next bag.
Now Josh had the big old Pro Tac, uh, and I have the flip sides. We've got the big 400 here, which got full of all my stuff, and the little 200 as well, the little pint size one. 400, it's pretty similar in size to the uh, Pro Tac, but it's just missing some of those really cool features. Uh, one you might notice, there's no, there's no extra mounting options on the front. The modularity is kind of missing from this bag. Uh, and there's no quick access. So you can't easily get to the camera or get into the side at whatever you stored in the sides. But it does have a lot of the benefits from that bag as well. But yep, like the ProTac, it's got uh, tripod straps and mounts so you can strap your big old sticks on the side. They're not detachable though. So again, with that lack of modularity, you're stuck with where they're put. You can't move them. There's a few points you could mount some things, but compared to how many are on the ProTac, it's very little. You'll see, you can get a similar amount of gear in this bag. As it is a, a 400 and the ProTac is only 450, so there's not a lot in it. It's just the ProTac, I think, is a lot more deeper, but still fit a plethora of things, such as a monitor, camera. Uh, you could fit another lens in here. I've got some, some big batteries, some uh, microphones and lights. And uh, in this one, we actually have a MacBook Pro. This is a 15-inch model fits no problem. Again, there's all the little bits where you can put your SD cards, loads of small little hidden pockets all over these bags. Makes it really good for storing all those little bits and those valuables when you're on the go. The padding is not the uh, breathable active stuff that you find on the ProTac, but it is very soft and very cushiony. It does feel really good on the back. And the uh, waist strap is also padded with the same stuff, but it's not removable. So you're stuck with it, it's always gonna be dangling around even if you don't wanna use it. When customizing the inside of this bag, there's not Velcro around the whole edge. So when you go to um, change it about, uh, you might not be able to get it in the exact point you want. Like you see here, this is where I have the camera cut out for it. And ideally I would like to mount it here, but there's no Velcro on the side of the bag there where the Pro Tacro has the soft Velcro around the whole edge so you can put the Velcro wherever you want. But I'm stuck having it just kind of loose in the bag as it is. Now this is the little brother. This is the Flipside 200. Same branding and everything as the, uh, the big one, the 400, just in a much smaller package. It's all the same stuff, like a tripod strap. Uh, got some pockets on the side. It's pretty much the same bag in every way, just tiny. But you can still fit quite a bit in it, especially if you only need a couple pieces of gear and you want to travel really light. As you can see, we've got quite a big camera in here, spare lens, a couple batteries, got the monitor, as always. Can't fit a laptop in this one, unfortunately, but uh, fit a couple of the filters in there. SD card slot. Yeah, it's uh, still got all the features you like from the 400, but in a much smaller size. Depending on how much gear you take, this one might actually be better for you because you might not have a lot you need to take, but you want a good sturdy camera bag to take with you. Again, there's no quick access points, so you are gonna have to take this thing off your back and put it on the ground and unzip it to get to any of the gear, which is a big benefit to the ProTax. It's a good, well-rounded, very well-made, high-quality camera bag. <laughs> this thing feels solid. It's right on my back. It's feeling heavy, but it's feeling comfortable. The straps, the padding, really, really comfortable with this, with this rucksack. I absolutely love this little genius pouch. So an extra little pouch in there. You can easily slot and store some of your SD cards, some of your smaller valuables, USB sticks. I think this thing is a fantastic little idea. Little divider and a little holder. Genius pouch. With that said, with these bags, which one's for you? Let us know, comment, like, and subscribe. See you again soon. I've been Josh, I've been joined by Rob today. Thank you very much.